Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Static Yonder and I am back with another reaction video. So today I'm going to be reacting to Mammoth by Pelican Live and this was recommended to me by Tom Price I believe. A um, couple of warnings uh, before we start and I say warnings these are more just warnings for me that Tom gave me. I don't know, I'm just calling him Tom, I don't know him. Um, there are no vocals. Now I'll talk a bit more about that during the, the video itself. And um, there's a very long intro. So, there we are. Let's do this. That looks like a modified Gibson SG, but I can't tell. Oh, it's got a different neck, anyway. Or a different head. It's got a different head. Anyway, um, so apparently there's a very long intro. See, what I can't get behind in modern metal is long intros that are just the same chord, like this one seems to be. It's just... It's just the same thing for like like a minute or two minutes. So, you know, where's the entertainment in that, you know? You say it's build-up, but in my opinion, a long intro has to be gradually going somewhere, not just the same thing over and over and over again, because it makes you feel like the singer and everybody else has just forgotten to come in, you know? Like, they've left the guitarist to do it on his own. Oh, that's a bass. I'm giving the bass a chance to tune up. I love his beard. He's reminding me of Andy Sneak from Judas Priest, the uh, live performer who's standing in for Glenn Tipton, because Parkinson's is a thing. If I keep doing this, by the way, guys, it's just to add some movement in the area of my face so that the autofocus focuses on me. Again, due to my setup, it's my setup demands that my camera's left on autofocus. Right, that's an SG. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Not that I'm disparaging the godly Gibson SG, I'm just saying. It's, it's, it's nice to see. Oh, fucking hell, okay. That got heavy quick. First guitarist, I believe the rhythm is, is throwing his guitar about. Oh, we've started a mosh pit. We've started a mosh pit. That's good. Love a mosh pit. Kerrang called this the heaviest thing in the universe. Um, or something like that. Now the thing I find about bands with no vocalists is that they tend to struggle to stand out. So coming up with an instrumental is no small feat, but it's easy for other bands to replicate. But when you have a singer, that singer will never, unless they have a twin who also sings, um, that singer can never truly be replaced. So the songs that you make with the singer will always be yours. That's why the singer sound, you have to get it right. That's why bands should always... Oh, hello. And the camera's on the floor. <laughs> That's how you know you're having a good time. I'm guessing this is on a phone, and the guy's now dropped it. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I find that that's why bands really have to be strict with their singers. Because if, if they get it wrong, the whole thing just sounds off. So... It's like, you know, try and imagine Typo Negative without Peter Steele. The only other thing that makes Typo Negative unique is Josh on the um, keyboard. He's the master of atmosphere, but even then, another good keyboardist could do the same thing. But your voice is unique to you, and that's why I believe bands without vocalists do struggle to stand out. That being said, these guys are doing a pretty good job. I haven't had anything quite like this before. It's very trudging, very... Good. The bass player isn't just standing there like a lemon, um, which is always nice to see, because you do get those ones who just stand there like, like they don't know, either don't know what they're doing or they just don't want to be there. Um, oh, I've left my door open. I'll just leave that for now. Um, this guy, on the other hand, is really getting into it. All three of them are. There's a drummer in the back there, obviously, um, wearing a stripy top. So that's a teddy bear, um, which is always good. I can imagine this being used in a movie soundtrack, you know, very, like a dark moment, or like a, a moment where like one character is slowly 
but surely beginning to chase another one through the streets, like slowly getting faster. So, um, yeah, I could imagine that. This is good. This is heavy. This is fun. I can hear myself. I imagine I can. I can, I can envisage myself head back into this. Like, this is that kind. It's got that kind of beat to it. It's giving me Rammstein vibes. The kind of the kind of um, instrumental that it is. Um, yeah. Oh my God, he's. The, 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 the rhythm guitarist is proper throwing the guitar around. Hey! <laughs> it's like pointing a fan or something. Bit of showmanship there from rhythm and bass. He sounds European. He doesn't sound American. I thought these were American. Behold the power of heavy metal! I'm guessing he's the lead guitarist. And my dog's my dog's decided to bark. Of course he has. There's a fan on stage. How great is that? I love bands that are like that. You know, they don't mind it when a, a fan jumps up on stage as long as they're not, you know, there to fucking murder them or something, you know. I think that's about it, isn't it? Yeah. And a bit of crowd interaction there. There's the drummer. Wow, he's buff. That's a, that's a mark of a good drummer. You know, they've got big shoulders. Well-developed shoulder muscles. Well, that was Mammoth by Pelican. What did I think of that? That was good. That was a good song. It gave me, you know, it's obviously a very modern metal song. You know, it is. It, they, they, this band doesn't have a singer, um, which is another thing of note. But it's it's a very modern metal song. It's very trudging. It's, it's not particularly melodic. It is just dun dun. It's the same riff over and over again. But it progressively gets heavier and slightly more complicated. You know, a few more. You'll add a few more notes in. Um, so, yeah, that was a good song. It was a good song. Not personally something I'd go after, um, but I I do prefer melodic metal. I prefer. I also prefer um, metal bands with vocalists. But as far as this kind of band goes, these guys are good. Um, definitely an up and coming one to watch. So yeah. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments below what you want to see from me next. Usual business stuff. So, yeah, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. Hell and kill. Yeah, let me try that again. <clears throat> Hell and kill.